And welcome back to some more Shrouded. Right, okay, so I am not starting my Valheim journey yet. I am waiting for the patch. But as for now, I've gotten a few comments, some tips, some tidbits of where stuff could be. So we're gonna check it out. Because in a video that I posted almost a week ago, I got a comment saying that the dragon lore should be right over here. So maybe, maybe, just maybe. I mean, I've heard multiple cases of that the last page of the dragon lore doesn't exist and people who have found it, but apparently it's supposed to be right south, supposedly be right here, south of the ancient spire of Nomad Highlands. But I was here, so what the hell are they talking about? Well, we're gonna have a look-see. There's probably more information in the comment, but yeah, okay, let's uh, explore a little bit more thoroughly then. Could it be down here? Oh boy, am I gonna be mad if it... No, I was here. Where's my shield? Okay, there's my shield. Alright, acid bite and search. Nothing here. Yeah, at least I do a lot more damage. Yeah, and stuff is easy enough to kill. Uh, let's have a look-see. In here? No? Yeah, I'm gonna have a look at the comment soon, but I want to see if I can actually find it. Oh, that's just a torch. Ow, I, I, I. Calm down. In here? No? Huh. Could it be hidden behind some rock? Bastard? Hey, boy, oh boy. Okay. Uh, up here then. No? Hmm. Okay. Inside this thing? I don't see anything. What about this place? Hmm. In front of this thing? Where haven't I looked? Is there something behind this wall? No, there's nothing in here. I think. Is there? Hmm. I mean, nothing here. Nothing on the outside. Right? I mean, if I wait until dark, it will be easier to spot. I don't see no notes. There's a legendary chest. Okay, let's uh, look at the comment. Dirty blue. Up of a rooftop and on a table. What? Right side as I enter. It has some upvote, so it should be here. Small roof, eh? Up of a rooftop. Hang on, am I close? I mean, he linked to this location right when I enter on the right side. Hang on. Oh, God. Really? Am I really this blind? It was right here. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, okay, so I had just missed it. Yeah, it's because of the... Okay, so here's my excuse. Everything here is red, but... Oh, damn. Well, <laughs> uh, let's see. Dragon's Maw. Keep your nimble fingers close. Don't venture into caves and cliffs. A dragon guards the lonely tunnel, sleeping quiet, stiff. It holds a sword inside its maw, but do not grab it, little one. To keep your fingers one through ten, you'd have to quickly run. For tiny hands and pockets, its sword's just way too big, and with bared fangs as block it, the dragon's just too quick. So quick, uh, so keep away from the dragon's maw, stay home and near the city. Do not take what isn't yours and keep your fingers pretty. That's a cute little poem. Really? I... Oh god, when did I release this video? Oh, right, it's the video that was released. Well, technically today, so... <laughs> Uh, I mean, spoiler alert, I, I do enjoy to have a couple of videos in the chamber in case something happens. Like if I need to take a little bit of a break. But yeah, okay, so... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Really? I, I, I missed this one? Okay, let's give proper thanks. Okay, what was his name? Dirty Blue. Yes, thank, thanks for the comment. Oh, God. Really? And this isn't the first time that I've been here. Oh, God. Yeah, I still can't believe it, because in the video I just... Ow, ow, to me. in my defense, it was hidden. It was clearly hidden right here. Uh, I couldn't see it, and then I flew down. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, there you have it. <laughs> oh, God. I've been here multiple times since then, and before then. <laughs> before that video. Oh, God, okay. Okay, and talking about comments, uh, there's a comment from the video that was released yesterday. Let's see that that place that area. Hang on. Okay, let's uh, let's make some content out of the comments while we're here. So let's travel over me. Huh? Now I probably would never have found that book because I am quite certain that I've been to that place multiple times. <laughs> then again, I am close to trying to re-explore the entire map. Now hang on. There was just a patch note that was released. Hang on. If I go into what is going on. Yeah, okay, I still missed the alchemist page. That I do. Okay, so I'm gonna test that out too. Now, in the patch note, they said something about 
when you respect you gain more skill points than you should. Now I have 114 skill points whenever I reset my skills. Do I lose them now if I try to respec? That's a little bit scary. Okay, so we're back here. Yeah, we still miss a note in, in this area. Also, the caravan to longkeep. So we need to be a little bit uh, careful. Now, of course, while we're here in East Lapis, might as well uh, give the best two-hander. Well, so it could be the best two-hander if I got it in Legendary. Let's see. Okay. What do we get? We get a uh, common. Right. Righto. That is fine. Fine, just fine. Because another comment suggested that there's a hidden chest in the mysterious cave that I found over here. Now, this cave I found a very long time ago. Actually, when I first discovered the East Lapis, I think. But it didn't really have anything in it. And the cave I'm talking about is right here on the edge. This little cave. Okay, so the comment is from M. Gareth 777 along the back if you follow the right wall from the entrance behind it is a chest okay let's uh follow the right wall then and then there's supposedly some rubble okay let's hug the right wall let's see do we find any rubble there we go here's rubble yeah i mean do i have bombs i don't have bombs but i do have my trusty pickaxe there we go secret oh and a legendary chest well would you look at that so this supposedly has the best loot table Maybe? This isn't Excalibur, is it? No, it's our regular staff. Okay. Fancy. Yeah, so, uh, thanks, M. Gareth. 777. 777. 777. Oh, there we go, more secrets. Thanks to the comments. Right, because the rest of this place is just iron, and yeah, I don't see more rubble. And the chilb silver chest that is down here. Right. I do believe. Okay, let's get ready some arrows because this is... Yeah, there's the silver chest and there should be a bumper beetle. That's not a bumper beetle. There's the bumper beetle. Ow. Well, at least it isn't instant death. Here we have... Uh, sure. Is that the same bow that I have? Yeah. Yes, it is. Well, probably good to have a spare. Nice. Loads of secrets today. Again, it is thanks to my comments. Now, I have stated before many times that I don't re do research on the game and... By that, I do mean that I don't look stuff up, and I don't really watch other creators in Enshrouded, other than building videos. Now, the reason for that is not necessarily that I don't want to watch the competition, because obviously I should see what other people are doing, and if I could do it better, or maybe it's something that I want to do. But the main issue is that I don't have time. <laughs> uh, time is the factor. Yes, I do have offspring, a little mini Orinin, or Orininina. Okay, let's double check the chest over meow. So they fixed some issues, some performance issues, I mean, I don't have any. This is still level 1 stuff, okay, yeah, just double checking. Right, okay, what was I talking about? Yeah, that I don't have time to do research, because most of my day is spent taking care of my daughter and spending time with my wife. Yeah, no, if I did have the time, I probably wouldn't do much research either. I would do it at this stage since I've played for over 200 hours, but I do enjoy discovering stuff on my own, that I do. But some tit um, tips and tidbits on in the comments, I highly appreciate, appreciate because I would probably never <laughs> discover that stuff on my own. Oh boy. Right. Okay, let's, uh, let's give uh, Galora a go. Maybe they fix that. Again, it is not a deal breaker for me if they haven't, because also the whole reason for me finding all the lore is that I want to find Excalibur, a sword that may or may not exist. Then again, it could be a hero brine scenario where maybe it is, exists, but and maybe it doesn't. Let's see. Uh, okay, no, nothing here. And if I read this book, Alexis Val, probably not. General? No. Okay, I still miss this one. Interesting. Ow. You bastard and a schmeck. Okay, well, what's worth a go? Well, then, well, if we discovered something, then again, it was not because of my own forte. Not that that matters. It is very fun to explore again because, well, because uh, stuff like this happens. Okay, now it's very dark. Extremely dark. Right, okay, let's head back home. Yes. Subliminal messages. Just a little tiny bit over there. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. <laughs> uh, now, well, I've also gotten a comment. Like, you know, like they appreciate that I don't beg for subs in every video, even though I kinda end every video right here. So, yeah. 
but I, I don't really want to be that kind of YouTuber who ends the video by asking for subs and members and money. At least not now, because I'm... Even though I don't really have a job and I don't have income, I'm not in a desperate si situation. Yet, at least. Maybe one day. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll start begging hard. But yeah, my videos are always going to be free. That they are. Now, if you do have disposable income and you do enjoy my videos, do not feel obligated to become a member or give me money. No, no. This content is free. Very free. It is clearly free because of the quality. <laughs> now, if I were to do... Oh, eggs. Now, get back here, chicken. Chicken. Now, if I were to do some high production content, as in maybe animations, then maybe. Because I am learning 3D modeling again. Maybe I would ask for money for that. Probably. Who knows? But right now, no. Free stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bad kitty. Oh, three hits, eh? Oh, greedy little bastard. Right, but yeah, let's uh, explore a little bit more because we still miss stuff which I presume is in Revelwood and probably the Springlands. Yeah, let's go a little bit around Revelwood, and look. Yeah, so I'm probably not gonna mention the join button or the thank you button a lot in my videos, but they are there and I do. And I am proud of myself of becoming a YouTube member. I mean, I'm ever closer to making a career out of this. Then again, I just need to make better content. And perhaps someday I will have enough free time to actually stream. Because right now, my daughter is asleep. And that is the only reason why I'm able to make this video. Yeah, like so she, she does have a mother. And her mother does the majority of the uh, child work because I do... Uh, try to gain some experience when it comes to 3D modeling and uh, programming again. Learning Python, that is fun. So we will see. But right now, uh, my wife is a little bit under the weather. Well, quite a bit under the weather. I mean, she's passed out right now, but she will be fine. Fine, just fine. But that means that I have the sole responsibility of my child and, of course, all of the household chores. But I am... A big boy so I can I can handle some chores so at least streaming is not on the table as of yet but if I manage to get some income from doing this now well, that would be something then I could actually you know get myself an office now I did have an office because I also did have a business but that often became the, the nursery so we will see if I manage to make proper mon money from this, then I'll make the nursery back into an office and my child can just, you know, sleep on the couch. <laughs> right. uh, hang on, this is... Oh, I, I, I was here uh, a, l a little while ago. And this is, yeah, stuff like that. Sure. We, we will see. And I've also gotten some questions about whether my videos will continue. And of course they are. I am having so much fun. Oh. Oh yeah, right, it's this era. I'm having so much fun playing video games again and posting videos, editing. It, it's very fun for me, so that will continue even if I get a job. But we will see how much. I mean, I'm having very fun uploading daily, but I don't think that this will be a reliable way to make videos. But we will see. One of my favorite YouTubers right now is probably Green. A Minecraft YouTuber and he posts about one video a week but it's not like he only records for 20 minutes uh, like once a week he records probably many 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 an hours and make one video out of it now I kind of want to do the same I do enjoy the way that I make videos that I do because I do explore and I find stuff for the first time and you get my genuine reaction of course, I don't exaggerate anything, I'm not that good of an actor, but yes, I want to make better content for you people, especially if you uh, become a member and actually give me money for making videos. I would feel so bad if I got a ton of members right now, purely because my content is... No, don't get me wrong, I stand behind my content, I do a lot of editing, and I do believe that my content has gotten a lot better. But I do feel like I still need to become a lot better. But we will see. Right now, I am just thoroughly enjoying gaming again. <laughs> in my, uh, in my, even at an older age. I thought once that I uh, got my daughter, then I would never be able to play games again. But then, 
by a stroke of luck, I, I lost my job and uh, I started streaming and I got a little bit of attention. Now I've gotten a little bit more attention, so who knows? Oh, it would be fun to make a career out of this. I mean, I will always make videos from now on. It just depends on how much time I will get. Because a child doesn't really get easier with time. Right now she's, you know, just an infant. Well, not an infant anymore. She's uh, almost six months old. Jesus. Time flies. Time really flies. But once she starts walking and running, <laughs> it is gonna be a problem uh, to play games. But yes, yes, I am having very much fun playing games right now. And it would be fun to see how playing some Valheim will go. Because that is a very different game to Enshrouded. It is a lot more grinding. So we will see. I think that I would start a new character. What is this red light? Hang on, I'm getting distracted. No, that's just from the torch. Yeah, it's a lot more grinding. So I would probably have to spend more time to make a video than I do in Enshrouded. But we will see. Right now, I'm still having so much fun in Enshrouded. Oh, damn. Oh, this game is definitely worth the $30. I wonder how it would do if it actually tried to do the fucking uh, quadruple A stuff of... Yeah, I'm gonna charge uh, $100, $400, uh, $1,000 for a video game. Oh, boy. I'm not too excited about the future of game prices. Oh, no, it should... If it's a fully-fledged game it should be 60 bu um, buckaroos and if it's an indie game i mean if it doesn't have the reputation it should be around the price of this game now this game is definitely worth more than 30 dollars that it is but i hope that they don't do micro transactions and pay dlc and stuff like that no they could do something they could do something because keen games do deserve money because they made an awesome game and it seems like they're hard at work of making the game better Oh boy. So we will see. Let's see. Okay, so there shouldn't be anything more around here. Because the lore that I'm currently looking for is the hidden lore that is probably just one page of that shows the location of the other Hollow Halls dungeons. Because I would presume, since I found two, that it should be two out of four, right? Maybe. But again, that could be... Oh, it could be anywhere. Practically anywhere. It could be on the road, it could be one of, in one of these things. Now, I have been to those, but I should probably do some double takes. <laughs> because I do, <laughs> as you can, as you saw in the start of this video, I do have a tendency to just skip over places. Oh, Olfi. Yes. So yeah, it's probably in a place that I've been to many times. Oh, but this game is so purdy. Purdy, purdy. Oh, and it will be fun to see what the modding community can do with this game. Now, I have tinkered a little bit with some mods on my own, but again, I don't really have time to make something. The only <laughs> programming project that I made that was suitable for, uh, well, content creation was that I made a timer in Python that was compatible with OBS. You can see that in my speedrun videos. Then again, <laughs> they were not good timers, that they were not, but made by me. So it was something. Okay, nothing up here, eh? Hmm. Oh, hang on. Bees. And a schmeck. Yes. Huh? Oh, right. Wolves. And a schmeck. And a schmeck. And a schmeck. And another schmeck. Yes. What is this place? Where am I? I'm here. Hmm. Anything here? Hello? Uh, nothing. Oh, I think my daughter is waking up. Yep. That seems like it is all the time that I am gonna get. But since we already discovered some lore today. I think that should probably do it. And I also did a lot of rambling. Not sure if this is entertaining for some, but yeah, at least you get some some of my opinions and what I think about streaming and what's to come. Oh boy, am I having a good time. It's very fun to see the comments on my videos and the engagement and oof, yes. And I'm starting to get more and more subscribers. Oof, that is fancy. That is indeed fancy. Okay, well, we did discover something. Not on our own, but uh, thanks to the helpful commenters. But we should end it right here. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video a little bit differently today. I'm gonna thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And there is a member button, but only if you have the ability to. And of course, if you want to. Because my videos are always going to be free. I don't expect any payment from what I'm doing. This is extremely fun for me, and that is payment enough. And all you basically have to do to support me is just watch my videos. If they're good. Don't watch the bad ones. 
watched a good watch, like this one, maybe. <laughs> uh, anyhow, until next time.